Do you want to know how I quit my 9 to 5 job and after quitting, taking my Amazon FBA business past the $200,000 mark in under 8 months? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you guys my 5 best tips on scaling your business from zero to over $200,000 in less than 8 months. So stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Trevin Peterson. I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon seller. And for those that are new to the channel, I just wanna say welcome. Go down and hit the subscribe button if you guys are interested in learning how to grow your Amazon FBA business because that is what we do in this channel. I help you guys grow your Amazon FBA business from literally nothing, okay? And that's what this video is about, is how we can grow our business from ground floor to pass $200,000 in under eight months, okay? So that is what I was able to do and I want to help you guys accomplish the same thing, okay? So we're gonna do a quick screen sharing and just to kind of show you guys um, the, the proof in the pudding, this is inside my seller account and what I did was I went to the date of May 10th. This is approximately when I quit my nine to five job. I actually quit my nine to five job end of April. So full time doing Amazon FBA is May 1st to basically now. I'm still doing Amazon FBA full time and that is what I love doing and that is why I have the channel is to help you guys learn exactly what I've learned throughout my entire FBA journey. Okay, so we're May 10th to today is January 10th and I'm going to hit apply and hit refresh and as you can see ordered product sales is over $200,000 in eight months. Okay, so I'm going to break down the five best tips on how to do exactly that. Alright, so now that you guys have seen my numbers, I want to teach you how I scaled from $0 to over $200,000 in 8 months, okay? And that is the reason why I am showing you guys my numbers is to just actually prove to you that this actually works and that I've actually walked the path from going from literally nothing to over $200,000 in sales, okay? I want to not just talk the talk, I want to walk the walk and show you guys that I'm experiencing the same problems that you guys are going through on a day-to-day -day basis. There's too many people out there that are teaching outdated things that actually are not working. And I just want to share with you guys my entire FBA journey. And that's why I'm trying to be as transparent and open with you guys about my sales and my numbers to prove to you that I'm currently selling on Amazon, okay? So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find someone you trust or a few and start learning from them, okay? So this is super important because if you have any questions, if you run into problems with your manufacturers or with Amazon or certain requirements, and I mean the list could go on of the different problems that you may have, you need to be able to have someone that you trust that you can reach out to, jump on a coaching call, whether it's a Facebook group, whether it's a mentorship program, whether you've just built a relationship with someone so you can direct message them on Instagram, whether it's me or whatever the case is, find someone that you trust, build a relationship with them, get in their course, get involved in their Facebook group, whatever the case is, so that when you do run into problems, you can ask them and you can get them solved a lot quicker rather than trying to figure everything out on your own, okay? So that is super important. And before we go into the next, uh, the number two reason, make sure the person that you trust is proving to you that they know what they're doing, whether they're showing you the numbers, um, refreshed screen shares of their numbers and showing that they currently sell on Amazon, okay? There's too many people out there that aren't and the information that they may be giving may be good and it may be applicable, but when you run into a problem right now, whether it's today, tomorrow, or down the road, they may not have the answer, okay? So that's why it's super important is to find someone that you trust that's currently selling on Amazon so when you have problems, you can get them answered. So number two is automating the system with software, 
software tools, okay? So I just want to share a quick funny story. I read the four-hour work week. This was like a year and a half ago. I was working my full-time job, my nine-to-five job, and my entire family just basically laughed at me because of the book, The 4-Hour Work Week. And for those that have read it, or if you haven't, I would highly recommend it. It's an awesome book. But anyways, I was reading it, and everyone just thought I was in the night dreaming of working a 4-Hour Work Week. And I said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to find a way. And in that book, it teaches you how to automate systems, how to make use of your time, and do things that are actually going to accomplish something, okay? There's too many different tasks that aren't necessary, and the whole purpose of Amazon FBA is automating the system. So learning from this book, I was able to automate the systems, and the best way to do that is through different software tools, okay? So now down the road, fast forward a year and a half later, my family is asking me to help them learn how to sell on Amazon, and now they're not making fun of me anymore for dreaming about the 4-Hour Work Week because I actually made it possible, okay? So now let's talk a little bit about the software tools that I recommend. The Jungle Scout Chrome extension is a must because it does the work for you. You don't have to manu manually calculate. There's no guesswork. If you find a product, you can basically uh, run the Chrome extension and you know whether or not it's going to be profitable, okay? So that's super important. It just makes life easier for you and that's why I like these software tools is because they're automation tools and they make life a lot more simple okay so that's the first one the next one is Amazon Mailer and the reason Amazon Mailer is so important is I don't have to manually send each individual email I'm able to get good feedback and positive reviews because I have a system in place for any time someone orders my product I have a follow-up email sequence I'm not sending it I pay 30 bucks a month for this software and it does it for me, okay? So if I was to individually send each individual email, that would be thousands of emails every single day and I just don't have time to do it. But paying 30 bucks for a software, I think that's pretty reasonable, okay? So that's another awesome tool. And then the last one, I mean, there's a bunch, but Fetcher is one of my favorite. It's an accounting, basically, software tool for Amazon FBA sellers. If you guys are unfamiliar with it, um, go down and check the link down below. It's one of the coolest tools because you basically link your seller account. You can enter in your expenses, how much your product cost is, and it basically does all the accounting for you. And it shows how profitable you are, how much money you made for the day, through the week, through the month, and you can plug in the different expenses. Okay, so just to kind of show you a screenshot, this is my uh, a screenshot from November 21st to December 21st. It shows that I did over $60,000 in sales. The units sold, it shows the costs. So that takes into account the PPC campaigns, FBA fees, and then also the expenses that I put in. Okay, so you're probably looking 20%, 27% margins isn't very good, but what you don't see is the expenses that I put into it, like my car payment, my office, um, which is my house. I have um, insurance. I have the different software tools. I upgraded my office. I got a new desk, new chair. Um, you get new cameras. You get new laptops. And those are all expenses. And the best part about it is the business is paying for it. And my margins are still 27% and over. Okay. So that is what's so cool about this tool is I can basically check every single day if I'm profitable, what I need to change, am I spending too much on PPC campaigns, what can I adjust so that I'm more profitable, and it just makes my accounting a whole lot easier come tax season, and you have basically everything laid out in a simple spreadsheet, and this one, depending on how many units you sell, it ranges from like 30 bucks to, uh, I can't even remember, probably like 100, but it's super inexpensive, and it saves you a lot of time in terms of knowing your profitability and basically your expenses and what you need to adjust in terms of numbers okay so that is a super awesome tool and I would highly recommend to automate any system with as possible instead of manually entering in each individual product and sold unit into QuickBooks for example this links to your seller account and it just makes it easier okay so that's number two automate systems so that you don't have to manually do it or hire someone to do it pay a software that's 30 bucks a month and they do it for you
So let's go to number three. And the third one is branding and ordering higher quantities, okay? So the reason why branding and ordering higher quantities is important because you stay in stock and you're avoiding hijackers, okay? So let's talk about staying in, in stock. This is super important because if you run out of stock, you're losing money essentially, okay? And every time you're out of stock, your page ranking can get hurt, even though there's a ways to avoid it, but if you stay in stock 365 days of the year, your rent, your page ranking is going to increase. You're going to rank for other keywords. More people are going to see your product, and the more people that see it, the more orders you're going to get. Okay, so that's one of the hardest things that I've dealt with is basically ordering enough units to stay in stock, and I'm going to go over another video of the problems that I had in December with that, but that's for another video, but it's super important because ordering higher higher quantities also you get each unit cheaper and you can stay in stock and sell more okay so please do that um, the next one is hijackers so branding when it comes to branding you're basically putting your own logo on the packaging or the product itself and this is super crucial because you get these Chinese basically hijackers is what they're called where they'll sell on top of your listing because they just get a simple product manufactured and it's basically the same but they buy it directly in China and then they sell it on top of your listing and undercut your your margins and then you don't sell very well okay so that is why branding is super important and there's other ways to avoid it like getting trademarks and um, I'll, I'll go over that in another video as well, but please take that into account when you're trying to scale. You need to build a brand and you need to have enough units in stock to be able to sell for 365 days of the year, okay? So that's number three. The fourth one is multiple products in the same niche, okay? So why this is important, and I'll kind of use my own business as an example. I have a product and then I built around that product with very similar products and when you search for that first product I have my other three products that come up on the first page so when someone is searching for something instead of seeing a bunch of other products they're seeing literally three of my products and that increases my chances of them buying from me because not only do they say three products they have more options it builds credibility for my brand and they may want a different color or they may want something different and if I have a bunch of different products in the same niche, I'm able to meet the customer's needs. Okay, so that's super important. Once you launch your first product, find a product that you can sell along with it so that you can rank it on the same page and you're just taking up all of that real estate on the first page on Amazon. Okay, so that is what I've been able to do with the majority of my products. I'm able to not only rank one product for one keyword, I'm able to rank multiple products for that same keyword and other keywords so more people are seeing my products which leads to more sales. Okay, so that's number four, um, having multiple products in the same niche. Now let's go to the last one which is the automated email sender slash product card inserts. I went over an entire video of how to get more organic reviews and this is just that. Um, and I highly recommend doing this because having that email sender, it's an automation tool, but it also helps you avoid negative seller feedback and it also helps you get product reviews, okay? So that's super important and having that email sender is probably one of the biggest things that's helped me scale my business and grow my products because I'm gaining more and more reviews every single day, okay? And along with that, you have the product card inserts, okay? so. I will include the link of that video where I go over basically just that, the email sequence and the product card inserts. But to show you how important it is, basically the more reviews, the more credibility you have, and the more credibility you have, the more sales you're going to get, and the more keywords you're going to rank for, and you're going to be on page one. Okay, so that's as simple as it gets. I mean, that's what Amazon is is get your product, build credibility, get reviews, and if you're on page one, you're going to sell, okay? So that is why this step is so important to grow past that $200,000 mark. You just need to build a brand, you need to get reviews, you need to automate the system, you need to find someone you trust, and if you do all these simple steps, 
you're going to be able to scale your business very quickly like I was able to do in under eight months to that $200,000 mark and be able to live the life of your dreams, okay? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you take action and apply every single step that I went over and really take these things and put them into action right now in your current annals and FBA business, okay? So I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. I'm almost out of breath during this video. Um, I'm super passionate about Amazon FBA and I want to help you guys. So if you guys need help, reach out to me. Check out the links down below. I have a, a free 30 minute training. I have a Facebook group that's completely free. I have tons of different content on this channel that you guys can go and check out and learn more about how to create and build a successful Amazon FBA business, okay? So check out those links down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a thumbs up and also leave a comment uh, with suggestions or future videos that you may see or what stood out to you in this video and if there's something that you want me to go more in depth about, okay? So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.